What is happening everybody? This is Patrick from HD RGB Entertainment today. And today I'm here to show a quick fix and a solution to a common problem on the original Xbox system. That is, the front tray here will be stuck. Now there's a few variations of the problem. Uh, one of them is it's actually stuck so it won't open at all. Another problem is it opens and closes uh, quite frequently and then just periodically won't boot games, spit it out after a little bit of trying to boot up. The reason that happens is because it has a little O-ring belt inside, a rubber belt that over time <clears throat> gets worn out and has to be replaced. So this video is going to run for approximately 8 to 11 minutes. I, I don't know because I'm going to do it live, live and I'm going to try to uh, fix it as the camera's rolling. So we'll basically just see how long it takes and I think that'll give you a, uh, a realistic idea of how long this will take you. In fact, it might even take you less time because you're not going to have to worry about having a camera right in front of you. So before I get started, I'll say please, if you appreciate the video, please give it a thumbs up and as well subscribe to the channel if you want to see Sega content. I have a lot of uh, various videos, so you can check those out, as well as I do Fantasy Star Online streams every single Thursday where I play the game, the one from 2001. I play it on the Sega Dreamcast real hardware, and we play it online on a private server. So if you're interested in that, stick around for the channel, and that really helps. It's pretty hard as a small YouTube content creator to go through the algorithm, but every single like pushes it, and I really, really appreciate that, so thank you. In addition... Please drop comments below. Tell me what you think of the repair. Tell me if you had a similar problem. Uh, this is my only Xbox. I was gifted it, so I'm just sort of like learning about it right now. So, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is simply just power on the console. So I have it plugged in, and we can power the sucker on. Now, if you hit the open tray button, and your console tray is stuck, what you can do is turn it off, now, where I'm pointing right here, you might not be able to see it on camera, but there's a little hole there. So with the console off, you can take a long thread, pl uh, push it in there, and it'll force this thing to open up. It's like uh, the emergency open. So if yours is stuck and you can't open, you want to do that versus like trying to put a screwdriver in here and opening it, which you could damage a little bit of the plastic or you know, break this thing or something like that. So you don't want to do that. With mine, um, I've already taken this thing out to look at it to confirm it was bad. And sometimes if you just take it out, you can put it back in and uh, turn it in a certain way and it might work. But we just want to replace it because that's more of like a Mickey Mouse solution. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just open this thing. So you can see that with this console in particular, it does open up no problem. Uh, one of the problems is that if you put the disc in, it may open and then close and open and close and do that frequently or it may sometimes open sometimes close basically intermittency now this fix can be applied to most if not all front loading cd based consoles uh model ones basically uh things that come to mind are the sega cd first one and then the panasonic 3do if you know or maybe you don't know the the second revision of both those aforementioned consoles were top loaders that's done to save cost and to alleviate a lot of these mechanical issues. A lot of times you don't know what's going to happen until a few years go by and then you get the problem. So if you have this issue with the original one, you like the original one, you want to fix it, this is the video for you. So we'll just get started with that. Now I'm going to move the camera really quickly and I'm going to tell you. Now you may not be able to see it, but inside here, there's a, there's a belt there. So don't worry if you don't see it. You don't actually have to open up the console to get to it. You can use just a pair of tweezers here. So I'm going to do that repair. So the first thing I want to do is keep this uh, tray open. So we're going to actually just... Actually, you know what? I was going to pull the power, but I think we can get away with just turning it off. Let's see. Okay, perfect. So that turns off the console. So let's stabilize the camera again. And I'm just going to do my best to take out this little rubber now what I find the best thing to do is if you get yourself two pairs of tweezers so if you, you can do it with single ones but I just grab the double tweezers here so what we'll do is we'll See, so we're stuck a little bit. Ah, there you go. 
So with the camera in the way, it's kind of a pain. So this one's not too bad actually, but if you look at it, so if, if you can see it, there you go. So this one is an old one. Now, a lot of times when you take these out, it's like really oval, like it's not even a circle anymore. So it'll look more like this. And this one is just really, really worn out. So what I did is I bought some replacements. So I got literally 10 of them. I just wrote Xbox belts. So we can open this guy up, take one out, get rid of the bag, and then you'll see I have two here. So if you see the difference, the one on the left is the new one and the one on the right is the original. So if yours isn't that bad like this, you might be able to take it out, turn it over and just sort of position it in a way where the thin end goes on the wide side and the wide side goes on the thin end. And then that might fix it, but it's really just kind of like a Mickey Mouse solution. So we're just going to replace it with a new one, as you can see here. So we can discard the old one. And now simply as easy as we remove the first one. Now it might be a little difficult for me to do this here, but I think maybe I need the light. I'm not sure. Let me see. Maybe light would help. Hopefully it doesn't interfere with the camera too much. Ah, there we go. So now I can see a whole hell of a lot better. So maybe we can move this in here. And then basically we're just going to take the new one. Let's see. So again, I'm doing this live. So I hope you guys appreciate it. You can fast forward to the end if you want to see it done, but I mean, lifetime so you get an idea of like the problem. So the first thing you want to do is just basically put it over the long end. And then what I like to do is just stretch it out. And actually that's all there is to it. So it's in there easy peasy. So now we basically can turn this off. Now, if we put the power back in, let's see what we got here. Oh, actually I didn't even pull the power. So I was used to doing that. Now we just turn it on and then there we go. So this thing will open up and close rather easily. Now, I don't know the comparison between the first time. Maybe if you guys rewind to the video, you can see if it opened up quicker, but typically these, this will open uh, slower now because it's a brand new belt and it's, uh, um, it hasn't been stretched out. So it's, uh, the tension on it is, is, is a lot better. So this thing is moving. You kind of get an idea of when it's going bad, when it starts ejecting really, really fast. If you sense, like you push the button and boop, it uh, zooms out, you're going to have an issue. So again, these things, they really, really wear out. You know, they become kind of like stretched like that. This one wasn't bad. So you might be able to repair it once by doing as I said, but basically you can get replacements like this. Doesn't hurt. Anyways, that's it. So I should be able to pop in my games and enjoy my Xbox for a really long time. Nice, slow, open, close. You can do it a bunch of times, no issues. And then that should prolong the life of the system for quite some time. And the great thing about this repair is you don't actually have to open the console to do it. You just, I recommend you get a little bit of light, two tweezers, and that was as easy as it gets. So if you have this problem, hopefully this helps. Drop some comments below. Let me know if this helped you, if you were able to fix it. And also tell me about the Xbox games you have. There's a new project coming out that we can talk about in another video where original Xbox games are gonna be coming back online. That's still in beta mode, so we can chat about that if you want. If you want more information, please go ahead and you can check out the description below for links, as well as following me on Instagram, all the socials. And if you wanna join our growing community of Sega fans and people that like basically seeing this type of content, feel free to join our Discord, it's free. We have fun there, we talk a lot of shit with each other, and basically just a nice positive experience and all that kind of stuff. So check that out. And if you want to see some more live streams that I do outside of the Thursdays here, check out twitch.tv slash HDRGB. I do basically original hardware, real deal on consoles that are using the best signal. So that's either component, HDMI, or RGB modded units. I don't mess around with composite and I don't mess around with emulators or clone consoles. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I just have a lot of original stuff. So that's how I like to roll. Anyways, thank you very much for watching this video again. I hope it helps and I hope you guys enjoy the fun. That is the original Xbox. So get yourself some Sega games because Sega is awesome. All right.
Thanks a lot. Take care.